after the professional wrestler went on a very strict liquid diet for 26 weeks to lose weight. When he began the diet, he weighed in at a healthy 270 pounds, and during the diet, he consistently lost 1.3% of his body weight each week. His weight loss can be modeled by the function W of T, where W is his weight in pounds, and T is the time in weeks he has been on the diet. We want to use this function to answer the following two questions. First, notice how our function W of T is an exponential decay function, where A, the initial amount, is a starting weight of 270 pounds, and the base B, the decay factor, is 0 0.987, where this base was determined by taking 100% and subtracting 1.3% and converting to a decimal. The first question asks us to determine how much girth weight after five weeks, round to the nearest tenth of a pound. And the second question is, determine how long it took for girth to weigh in at 197.23 pounds. And we're asked to round to the nearest week. So we'll answer both of these questions using the graphing calculator. Because we'll be solving this second question graphically, let's go ahead and enter our function w of t into y1 of the graphing calculator. So we'll press y equals, clear out any old functions by pressing clear. So we'll press clear, enter, clear, enter. Go back up to y1, and instead of t we'll be using x, so we'll have 270 times 0.987 in parentheses, and then raised to the power of x. And now to find the weight after five weeks, we're gonna determine w of five, and because we have our function in y1, there's a couple ways of doing this. If we go back to the home screen by pressing second mode, let's go ahead and clear this, we can just enter y1 of five by pressing vars, right arrow, enter, enter, then in parentheses, five. And there's the function value ending weight after five weeks. Notice how this is equivalent to substituting five for t. If we did that, we'd have 270 times 0.987, close parenthesis, raised to the power of five, enter, and the result is the same. So the nearest tenth, the weight would be 252.9 pounds. Again, we found that W of five was approximately 252.9. Now for the second question, we wanna determine how long it took for girth to weigh in at 197.23 pounds. And as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be solving this graphically. So going back to the calculator, we'll press y equals. To go down to y2, we'll press enter. And y2, we're going to enter the constant function, w of t equals 197.23, or in the calculator, y sub two equals 197.23. And now we're going to find the point of intersection of these two functions to determine how long it took for girth to weigh this amount. But before we do this, we do have to adjust our window. So let's go ahead and press the window key. And remember the x-axis is actually the t-axis or time, and the y-axis is actually the vertical axis, which is the weight. So for the vertical axis, let's go from negative five weeks to 15 weeks. I like to start with negative values for x and y just because that way we can always see the origin. The x scale right now is by fives. Let's change this back to ones, enter, even though the x scale and y scale really don't matter too much. And now for the vertical axis or the y axis, we know the starting weight was 270 pounds. So let's have the y minimum be, let's say negative 50, enter, and the y max be, let's say 300. Let's change the y scale to 50. Now let's press graph and see how we did. So there's the exponential decay function. And here's the constant function, y equals 197.23. Notice how we need to go further to the right, so we need to increase the x maximum. So we'll press window again. And now let's change the x maximum to let's say, I don't know, 30. And graph again.
So we want to find the x-coordinate or t-coordinate of this point of intersection. That'll be how long it took for Earth to weigh 197.23 pounds. So we'll press second, trace for calculation, option five for intersection, enter when it says first curve, enter for second curve, and when it says guess, we can move the cursor closer to the point of intersection, or we can just press enter. I'm gonna go ahead and move the cursor closer to the point of intersection, maybe somewhere in here, and press enter again, and notice how the coordinates are shown here below. So it took approximately 24 weeks for girth to weigh 197.23 pounds. I hope you found this helpful.